While I was sitting in my Introduction to Cybersecurity class this past uh, week, I was reading a book called Security in Computing. This is a textbook, and I was reading it for my class. And um, you know, I read I read you know, a substantial amount of cybersecurity books, and it came to my mind that well, I haven't really made a video on some different cybersecurity books that you can read uh, to learn just more about the general stories and general cybersecurity. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about uh, 11 cybersecurity books that you can read. Hey, what's up guys, Grant Collins here. I'm a cybersecurity student. Uh, here are the books that I'm listing up right now. Uh, there's gonna be 11 books that are on the screen or they're in the description below. If you don't really care about your con the commentary about what each book means or, or the story behind each book, totally understand. I don't, I don't know why you would waste your time. Just use the description below to find the, uh, the book on Amazon and you're good to go. These 11 books are story specific books, meaning that these are not going to be highly technical. These books are more about uh, stories behind uh, different individual experiences. They offer a really good story in my opinion, and you can actually learn a, a lot from these different books, even if they're dumbed down to a certain extent. Uh, I will be doing a video, uh, a part two video on uh, 11 or uh, 11 different technical books. Book number one is Cybersecurity and Cyber War. Uh, this was written a few years ago, and basically the whole premise behind this book is to talk about cybersecurity. Basically, how it works, why it all matters, and what we can do when it comes to cybersecurity and cyber war, and the future of what war is going to look like uh, for cyber war, or what cyber war is going to look like in the future. Book number two is Ghost in the Wires. Uh, Ghost in the Wires is written by Kevin Metnick. He is one of the world's most famous hackers. Uh, he, he talks about just the general story of being a hacker uh, back in the, I think the 80s or 90s. I, like, don't quote me on that. Uh, he's one of the most famous hackers. He's written a lot of books and uh, I highly recommend that you go check out Ghost in the Wires if you're someone who's interested in that kind of hacking background. Book number three is Countdown to Zero Day. Uh, about 10 years ago now, there is a bug called Stuxnet. US and Israel 8200 unit, I believe that's what this so the speculation is. They used it to infiltrate uh, Iran's centrifuges, centrifuges when, um, uh, when they were enriching uranium for their development with nuclear weapons. Kim Zetter, the author and journalist of Wired magazine, basically wrote this book talking about the story behind Stuxnet and how it works and what it did and what kind of damage it did. Number four is Future Crimes by Mark Goodman. Mark Goodman walks you through within this book uh, talking about how crimes are gonna be transformed into not just physical crimes, but also uh, digital crimes. Uh, he really goes into the underworld of the dark web, if you wanna call it, or the underground of organized criminal units who specialize in computer uh, and infiltrating computers. Five is The Art of Human Deception, again, written by uh, Kevin Metnick, and the premise behind this book is how he focuses on how there is many human factors when it comes to information security, and no amount of encryption protocols or firewalls will be able to stop these human factors uh, because this is just the human characteristics. Number seven is Spam Nation. This is written by uh, a the security, cybersecurity journalist, and uh, he has he runs Krebs on security, Brian Krebs, uh, and he unmasks the criminal masterminds behind some of the biggest spam and the hacking units behind these operations, uh, infiltrating really just America uh, as the primary attack. Number eight is Data and Goliath. Uh, this is written by another very famous security researcher, Bruce Schneier. Uh, he runs, I think, a, a blog called Schneier on Security. Yes, he does. And um, he talks about how uh, data is going to be, how data is used in today's world and how your, your data is very valuable to companies. I highly recommend you check this out if you're someone who's interested in like learning about the data or uh, what you can do with data and how that relates to information security. Number nine is The Cuckoo's Egg. Uh, this was written a while back, I think in the mid 1980s. Basically, Cliff Stoll, uh, the author of this book, was an astronomer who turned into a system engineer uh, and he at one point recognized that there was a uh, like an accounting error within one of his systems. And once he recognized this, he realized that he caught an attacker on their systems. 
And so basically he walks you through uh, the hacker's code and he called this this hacker the hunter. It's a really good book and I recommend you check it out. Nine is The Art of Invisibility. It is written by Kevin Metnick once again. And he talks about the human factor behind invis invisibility in the world of information security as a hacker. Uh, basically, he talks about his uh, one point running from the FBI for three years. It's a great book and once again, I recommend you check out Kevin Minutes books if you're interested. Number 10 is Social Engineering, The Art of Human Hacking. This is written by, yet again, Kevin Metnick. He's written many books in the information security world. Uh, this book talks about social engineering and how it's used within information security. And if you're someone who's very interested in the information security world uh, that has to pertain to social engineering, something that is often not highlighted within InfoSec as much as maybe hacking, um, social engineering is very important. Uh, to be very good at what you do. And he talks about uh, social engineering, the human flaw behind information security. Number 11 is Dark Territory. Dark Territory chronicles a little known past uh, that's, that's, that has an unsettling light on the future. Uh, Fred Kaplan, the author of this book, talks about uh, information warfare and uh, information security and how uh, cyber war is going to continue to evolve uh, through time. It's kind of like uh, cyber security and uh, cyber war, but uh, it, it's, it's a little bit more in depth. So uh, if you're someone who's interested in learning about the evolution and how or what he predicts the future of, of cyber war is going to be, I recommend you check that out. If you're interested in finding out more about some books and some resources, I recommend you go check out my Discord server. There's a link in the description below. There's a complete list of books that you can look through uh, and choose from. And uh, it's there for you, to, for you to just utilize and it's there for you to help, to help you. So uh, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing. Thank you and have a good day.